Hello, my name is Jeff Jaime, and this is my presentation for the qualitative research project we conducted throughout the course. The basic problem our group asserts is that the lack of leadership or existence of poor leadership that is causing high turnover in America. A 2015 study showed that out of 1,374 participants, 42% left because of a poor leader. One third said that their supervisor was not fit for the job. This and other studies make it easy to conclude that poor leadership yields poor results. Our purpose then is to determine whether an organization's culture permeated by the idea of a servant leadership of servant leadership improves the degree of employee engagement. Conceptually, this framework illustrates what an environment rich and informed by a servant leader's personal characteristics of authenticity, humility, empowering people, acceptance, providing direction, and stewardship then contribute to improved employee engagement. The design of the qualitative research applied both a phenomenological and ethnographic approach to the research. By asking questions, we wanted to understand and observe how the participants felt about their experiences and how that contributes to their reality in the environment where they work. Our sample criteria involved male and female candidates who were in support or professional roles, not the ownership, ages ranging from 35 to 65. We thought it was important that they had worked for at least two companies and have worked there worked three or more years uh, in their career with a bachelor's degree. This experience would at least give us an understanding that the participants had a frame of reference they could think about that involved more than one work experience or company they worked for. The way we collected the data was by first sending emails to qualified population uh, participants, candidates, we received signed consent forms and conducted three interviews using six open-ended questions. The questions are, does leadership at your company provide the learning and development you need to do your job well? Please explain. Number two, does leadership let you know what you need in order to, to be successful in your role? Please explain. Number three, does your leadership encourage you to pursue personal development? If so, how? Number four, are there things your leadership does great or could improve? Please elaborate. Number five, do you believe your leadership is trustworthy? And finally, number six was in case we missed something, to further our understanding of your level of engagement, is there something else you think we should have asked in this survey? As I stated, I conducted three interviews, two remote and one in person. I record them using the GoToMeeting and use the transcribed option. The results were a bit choppy, so I relayed the, replayed the audio files into a service called Sonics.ai, and I received a much more accurate rendition of the written transcripts than I had earlier. I then imported these transcripts into MaxQDA to allow for the coding process, and during this process I was able to see a few themes emerge. What I noticed was these, me these are members uh, that really appreciated their opportunities for personal growth. They believe their leadership cares about their growth. And they believe their leadership is trustworthy, honest, and ethical. Uh, just to illustrate uh, an example of the code cloud that emerged from, from my uh, coding process, here it shows the most common code references that were applied. The ethical considerations have to do with protecting the participant's identity and keeping their information confidential. We used a separate coding system to not reveal their identities. These details of how we intended to use the data were clearly spelled out and approved and signed by each participant. Our results were encouraging. The participants appear to be actively engaged in this organization. We noted how important it was for their leadership to show strong interest in their learning and development, and it gets even better when you give employees something to believe in while being open, honest, and trustworthy. 
Our conclusions are as follows. This disease of costly turnover is curable. Leaders have to own up to this responsibility and become better at leading. When leaders adopt a philosophy of servant leadership, where it is clear they are trying to serve others first, people view them as trustworthy, open, and honest. When this is true, the workforce becomes increasingly active and turnover begins to die.